Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of Joe Boo's Day Job. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so we have a pooch screw of a situation here. We have a house that has a shower that's in it. Uh, you can see down here where the shower is actually uh, in, in, in a crazy dog. We got a crazy dog shot where it's actually damaged the uh, molding down here. This, unfortunately, is actually particle board uh, molding. Never buy particle board molding. Okay, it, it's, if it ever gets wet, you see exactly what it does. The surround on here has been resealed and it leaks. But part of the problem is this floor is completely downhill. This house is about 100 years old and this was a hairy homeowner type of a job. So, a couple of problems with what we have here. The shower itself is very, very small. We've got it where the, the base of this is it's nasty. It, it, it's got mold on it. This unfortunately is on. A laminate floor never put a laminate floor in a bathroom for now what we're going to do is we're going to build our shower pan in here get it level so it drains right um, take care of we believe there's no trap in there because we've got sewer gas that's coming up we're going to need to deal with that and part of the problem with this whole situation is you've got a closet here that needs access and then there's an access panel here in the ceiling so we put all this together and what we have is a poot screw my thoughts on here and with this may be subject to some change as we go through is i'm going to basically carry this down about an extra foot and a half right here and we're going to build a little short wall a little short wall here that's only going to come out 12 inches then what we're going to do is we're going to go here 45 degrees and then run straight across to the back so what this will give us is and we'll do a short wall right here just a short one um, because we'll need to go ahead and put our shower curtain rod we'll need to actually go across at an angle what this will do is this will give us actually a little bit bigger space it'll give us a bigger opening to get in here and it'll actually get more lighting into it so that's what we're going to do First thing we've got to do is we've got to get rid of the surround. We're going to need to expose the, get rid of this drywall because we're going to put cement board in here. We will use subway tiles on here and we have a nice hexagon tile that will be for the base. I guess let's get started. Okay, so here's what we got. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Unlike the shows that you always see on TV and they come through with the sledgehammer and ah, we're going to break all this shit up and, and rip it out and it looks all dramatic. We're not going to do that. When you do all that, you create a lot more mess, dust, and you can actually do more damage. We're actually going to be reusing the control mechanism that's right here um, on here. So we don't want to damage that. And instead of taking a sledgehammer and breaking glass, it's actually a lot better to just unscrew it to get it out of here. Uh, the less damage that we can do to the place, the better it is. I always like to say that the shows aren't exactly that realistic because when you can take the door off that easy, as opposed to a sledgehammer and broken glass, three screws, I know it's not as dramatic as, ah! <laughs> but let's be real here. It's a heck of a lot easier than making a big mess.
one screw. Sometimes you get lucky. So the way this worked was the glass came separate from the frame and it has two like compression pieces that go into it. So now we actually are exposed to the screws and we have this now. Of course my tips won't fit in there. We're going to find our Allen wrench to take this out. Now more than likely this is a cemented end piece. So we're going to have to cut above this to be able to get it actually out. And we can see down here the problem. Let's call it wow. Boy, this is really bad. See, and if you can see, let's take you guys down here. Let's show you what we're talking about here. So inside here this thing is holding water and you can see the mold that's inside of it just a really poor design all the way around and we're gonna fix that and make it a whole lot better all right so here's what we have like i, I suspected it's a fiberglass surround that's got the screw places that are on here so to take this off real easily what we'll do is we'll need to cut and i'm going to take my level and cut real carefully across here with the sawzall. I'll go ahead and cut to where we're gonna put our new wall. I'll actually take the level and put it there so that way we can just unscrew the sides of this and get this out of here and then we'll be able to deal with the uh, drain line that's here. as dramatic as what we get on television but <laughs> real construction isn't dramatic all right so I'm looking at this and I can tell you the problems that we're going to be addressing and taking care of I can tell you that that corner is high back there and this whole thing is sloping down this way which is probably part of the reason why the shower itself did not seal now uh, realtors always say the house has character. In other words, it's crooked as crap. Uh, that's that's what it is. We had a house that was um, on Mass Avenue, and you know, multi-million dollar homes, and literally we ended up having to slope the, the cabinet about two inches from one side of the wall to the other. Now we're going to unscrew this. I'm going to take this off. This is where my suspicion suspicion is because we smell sewer gas from here, that there's no trap. I'm betting there's no trap in it. So evidently there was not a bathroom in here before, uh, or shower at least. So this was okay. definitely uh, something that they ended up doing later on. A couple things that we're gonna have to change because the way they put this in here, this is going to need to be recessed into the wall. Now granted, because they had fiberglass, um, surround that bumped out this is okay that's not going to work for us second thing is is the way they kind of went around the four corner over here we're gonna have to redo that no big deal the good thing is is we can use shark bites 
and basically we'll drill the holes throughout. We'll pull off this so that way we can notch a little bit in here and bring it up here. She does want, you do want to keep the shower head over here? Or do you want it on this side? That side would be great. You got, okay, so good news is she wants to actually put it over here. That's actually better, especially with the way that we're going to set it up here. There'll be a short wall right here between the toilet, and then we'll have another short wall here. So this is the entrance way. Putting this in here kind of shoot it out there a bit, but it will be better to have it up here. It is going to be a little bit wider, and we're going to be doing away at the corner, so that's going to work out. So now, the moment I have been waiting for of what I suspected, and we're going to find out real quick here if I was correct about not having a trap in here. And if my lovely assistant can hand me the hammer right there, we're going to need to uh, get some shims to shim out the wall for us to make sure that it's nice and square um, and level with the drywall that's in here. So. you want to see look wise you can see where all the moisture has been in here that's not good that's where you get odor and everything else oh. wow okay that's real good huh? <laughs> okay so great work here you can see that's what was actually holding the shower base in. Okay. That'll now, work. let's get this open. And if you have a, a rat, oh, wow. Actually, I may be wrong there. It looks like there actually is a trap in there. I guess the uh, smell. Ooh. Gross. That is very, very gross. And we're going to need to get that screw off of there. So that's actually good news for us. There is actually a trap in there. The sewer smell, I guess, was just the mold coming from all of this. And you can see how slimy it is. We're going to make sure before we eat anything or put our hands on our face or what have you, that we will definitely scrub up real good. If now, I had a mold allergy. Uh, yes, this is, is definitely... <laughs> I need the key to get this open. Okay, we're going to get that off, and then we're going to start building our new pan. So, at least we know where we stand. And that's in a pile of dust. All right, so we're finished phase one, and that's the demo and seeing what we have to deal with here. And we were pretty good with this. We put all the drywall pieces and bags and carried it out. We took the, instead of shattering it up like they do on television, we ended up taking it out piece by piece, dissecting it, you know, uh, from where it was. So this is what we've done as far as coming up with the best plan that we could. A couple of things. The trap that they had in here, they did have a trap, but the trap actually, it's like they didn't put any glue on it. It was primed, but it came apart. So we're going to cut open a little bit more here, which is not a problem. We can fill that in before we put the cement in here. We'll re-cement that. We're going to have to put an extension on here so that way we can get in our new piece. Now here's what we have for our new shower. Um, to maximize the space, you can see where I've cut the laminate flooring. And by the way, don't ever use a laminate flooring that's just on the bathroom. We're finding out that what happens every couple of months is you have to put a new wax ring on here because it does not really get tight. So it rocks a little bit and then it starts leaking water on the floor. Not a good thing. We'll come back next time and we'll take up the toilet and we'll take up the vanity and we'll end up putting down ceramic tile, but this trip is going to be about the shower. So before our old shower stopped right here, let's, let's move this up. Our old shower stopped right here. Now we've given ourselves an extra 14 inches of space in here. Now we will have to put up, we're going to frame up a wall here. That tile is going to go into it, but it'll be nice. That wall is only going to come out to here. And what we're going to do is we are still keeping that 45 degree shape, but to give ourselves a little bit more room, we actually are extending the original shower over about five inches this way. 
So it's still a corner shower, but there's a lot more space that will be here. And we're going to bring a short wall, just a short wall, about 12 inches long right here. We're basically going to put a header uh, tied in here to keep it rigid. Uh, this wall right here, and the reason I we're doing this is so that way we can put the shower curtain rod onto the end of that. We're going to bend it just a little bit so it joins up here so it'll follow that perimeter. Um, this way, you've got a lot more space to be able to move around. Um, the other good thing is we've got this light fixture right here, which likes to give it plenty of light in there. And having this open, um, keeping this open basically from here to here, will also make the bathroom feel larger. So I'm excited about what we've gotten accomplished thus far, and now it's a matter of getting everything plumb and level. Now with this house, like I was saying, the difference of this back corner to here is probably uh, about an inch, maybe even an inch and a half, but that's okay because when we frame up the curb, we're gonna frame it up and we'll build this side up and we'll still have it all slope. We just won't need much cement on this side. We'll need a lot more on this side but it'll still slope to drain in there. And we'll have our curb actually setting up level where it should be um, on there. So that's gonna be part of the trick. I gotta go get some shims uh, for that. And of course, with the shower device that's right here, we're gonna end up needing to notch this and move this back in the wall. Won't be a big problem. We had to notch down here below where they put the uh, pipes in to make sure that they're gonna be inside the wall as well. But all things that we can, can deal with now this was the hard part of getting this open and getting it so we can get this together. So the next thing is we start framing this puppy out so we can start getting this thing together. All right, time to get some wood.